everyone. Um, in the last few videos of this series, I've installed our vManage vSmart vBonds, spun up the transits, and put the WAN edge list on the uh, vManage. Now, in the last video, I added three V edges to here, but I realized that one of them should have been a, a CSR 1000V. So I want to quickly show you that if you go to the GNS3 marketplace, scroll down, there's a Cisco CSR 1000V appliance. So you can download, import it, and then obviously you need the image as well. Um, so in my GNS3, I have a CSR 1000V. Now, the thing with the CSRs in GNS3 is that they are awful, uh, <laughs> to be quite blunt about it. Um, the one that I have here has been booting for, I don't think it has a timestamp, but I kind of left it up for a while. And the reason I left it up is because we need to just leave it going until the PMP discovery stops. Because if you try to get into configuration mode while PMP is still running, it won't let you. So if you're gonna do this, I'd recommend booting it up, go get a drink, I don't know, take a rest, take a break from your lab or do something else um, to let this thing actually boot up. So now that this is actually you know, up, what we're gonna do is I'm going to, from the internet, give it to a one. Um, I'm just gonna give it one link for now because all I wanna do is just show you how to onboard it. Um, and then in the next video, we'll just go to go back to the V edges. So what we need to do is go to our configuration devices. This is in vManage. Scroll down to one of our CSR 1000 Vs and generate the bootstrap configuration. It's a cloud in it. There we go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna download this. Um, show in folder. Let's go ahead and edit with Notepad. So now I have it in Notepad. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move it off to another screen just so it's not in the way, but I still need that. So now that we have our bootstrap configuration, we can head over to the CSR and start to onboard it. So you have to do config dash transaction, which is going to be different. Um, if you try to do comp T, it'll just say the command's not supported. supported. So config transaction. Like I said, these things are slow, so I'm going to try to get through this video as quickly as possible, but can't make any promises. Um, we're gonna call this C Edge. And if it does this after each command, this is gonna take a while. So we have to go into the system context, just like we do with the C Edges, I mean with the V Edges. And let's set the system IP. And I'm gonna set it to, um, it's site four, so I'm just gonna do 4.4.4. Um, actually, no, I lied. It's site three. Where am I going? Site one, site two, site three. So I'll set it to 3.3.3. Okay. Site ID is going to be three. And the organization name is going to be my lab. All right. And then my V-Bond. So this is kind of stuff we're used to seeing right now. Now, I do need to set a default route. And the next hop is going to be this internet router, which console. Let's go into this internet router just so I can remember what interfaces I set. Um, huh. apparently none. 
did that in the last video, but okay. So one moment, I'm just gonna pause it and quickly reconfigure that. No, I don't need to waste your time. All right, and we're back. So anyway, 3.0 is gonna be uh, 100.1.3.1. So if we go back to the CSR, I'm gonna do 100.1.3.1 as my IP route. And it's taking nice and long. Um, <laughs> so now that we have that, let's go into our if one interface. And the thing about these is Okay, and an interface key can be Ethernet. Sometimes it's zero to just, I mean, it is easier to just tab through it because the SD-WAN software can be a little picky. Okay. So let's no shut this interface. Let's give it an IP address of um, 100.1.3.2. All right. Now there, are um, a couple more things that we are going to want to configure. Um, organization name, people. I just want to make sure I got everything I need. All right, so there's the interface. So the other thing we're going to do is we're going to have to configure a tunnel interface. So interface tunnel one. It's going to be IP unnumbered gigabit Ethernet one. Okay, incomplete path. Um, IP unnumbered string gigabit. And I want to tell you this can be a little picky. There you go. So um, instead of trying to type it again properly, I'm just going to go ahead and do tunnel source. And then our tunnel mode is SD WAN. Okay. So now what we need to do is actually go into SD WAN configuration mode. And now we're going to do interface. And I'm just going to copy this. You can Ethernet one. Um, tunnel interface. I know it seems repetitive, but um, encapsulation IPsec allow service all. I'm just going to make sure that netconf is run as well. So is SSH. Okay. Exit. Exit. And I think, I believe that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and commit. Like I said, it does take a couple moments. These these routers are slow. Um, okay, configured programmatically. Uh, operational state is up. Okay, so, and let's get out of there. Now what we need to do is we need to do a couple things. One is we need to copy from the vManage. So one no one no one um, home admin. We need to copy the root ca.pm file. 
And we got to put it in boot flash. And I'm just going to call it root ca dot boot. Um, error opening. Hold on one moment. Let me. Sorry about that. There was just an IP route that was missing. Let's try it again. Okay. Now let's here boot flash. We have a root ca dot pm file. Now what we need to do is request platform software. Let's do a root search chain. Install boot flash. Root ca. And this will take a moment. Fail to install the root certificate chain. Not a valid certificate. All right. Um, I thought that might be the case because it came with zero bytes. So let's go over to the vManage. Let's just take a double check. Shell. Alas, we do have the root ca.pm file. Dash home dash admin. Well, let's try to copy it again. Maybe it's just um copy SCP admin map. Hmm. So for some reason, it's not copying the file properly. Now, I was trying to do some stuff off screen, <laughs> try to um, troubleshoot my file transfer instead of wasting your time with it. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug forward because I th think that there's just some kind of a bug or the Cisco documentation is, is pretty bad with SD-WAN. So what I'll do is I'll just request platform software SD-WAN the edge cloud activate. chassis number. Now this chassis number is going to be from this, this file we downloaded. So it's the UUID. I'll copy it there. UUID and then token. Um, whoops, wrong file. Get out of that. Where's my, okay. Token. So that should kick off. Like I said, this video is always going to be a little bit of a hassle um, <laughs> because the CSRs and GNS3 aren't great. Okay. So now let's check the show control, uh, control connections. I'm sorry, show SD-WAN control connections. So that's the thing with the CSRs and the C edges in general, is you need to add SD-WAN in front of everything. Um, show SD-WAN control connections is showing nothing. Okay. So you can see the certificate verification here is causing the tunnels not to come up. So what I'm going to do again is I'm going to actually 
probably go ahead and, and try to manually get this on there. Um, so I'm going to pause the video while I do that, because again, this video is up to 15 minutes already, and I don't want to waste your guys' time for something that's probably just an issue with my lab. So I'll get that ready, and then I'll come back and tell you and let you know what I did. All right, and I'm back, and you can now see that my C edge is in vManage. So to let you guys know how I did it, I'm going to go back over to the console. And the first thing I'm going to tell you is I didn't do anything wrong. So all the steps exactly as I, as I did them. The one problem I was having, though, is I couldn't get the rootca.pm file to come over. So what I ended up having to do is going into TCL shell, if you use puts and then open flash, basically what this does is this creates a file on your, your system. I went over to vManage. I got the rootca.pem file, copied it, pasted it, whoops, sorry, pasted it into a TCL shell. And I keep getting console messages. That's why I keep doing that. So once I pasted it into the shell, you can see I had the root CA here. So then I went ahead and get again with that root CA or root cert chain install. This time we successfully installed it. And now our SD WAN is up with C edge one. Um, so again, the process is not that complicated. It's just we were running into issues with the root CA. So what we did, so I'll just quickly walk back through it just in case you kept with me. Um, devices, go to a CSR, go ahead, generate the bootstrap config, then go to the CSR and do your skinny config. So again, the skinny config is Sorry about how slow this is. I, if you're going to do this in GNS3, my recommendation is set it up once with the CSR. Um, for the rest of it, just run V edges um, for labbing purposes. Because you could see, I just did show SD WAN running config, and we're still sitting here waiting. Um, my CPU isn't even that pegged either. You can see over here, the CPU is 18%. Um, here we go. Okay. So scroll back up. System uh, keeps doing that. Sorry. What we did is system IP, site ID, organization name, the V bond, and then we went to the interface, set the IP address, set a default route. Um, if you're doing this on the same subnet, obviously you don't need a default route. Um, and then the other thing was we created the, under SD-WAN mode, we created the tunnel interface, um, to set the encapsulation IPsec, allowed services, specifically netconf and SSH. And we copied the, well, I manually put in, but you copy the root CA file. Then you do the request platform software root cert install. And then the final command that you do is, just, to, just so you remember, is the request Platform software SD WAN V Edge Cloud activate. We do the chassis number, and again, the chassis number comes from the UUID, and then you need the OTP for the token. So after you put in the chassis number, which is blah 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 then you put in the token and that will activate it. So 
we could see as we're talking the vSmarts came up. So what we could do is we could do show SD WAN control connections. Which again will take a minute, but you can see the vSmart is up, the V bond is up, and the V manage is up. So that was a long video about how to <laughs> set up a C Edge in SD WAN um, GNS3. So again, my recommendation: set it up once, just so you can see how to do it. Otherwise, when you if you're really going to want to play with SD WAN. I would recommend just setting up V edges. So on the next video, I'll go ahead and set up our two V edges, which will be a much quicker video. And then our entire lab will be set up, well, for the most part.